I've seen a lot of questions that people have had and a lot of hype online about this course, Inbound Closer. You can see the screenshot there. Um, even like Dan Locke's uh, high ticket closing course, we've seen people ask questions about that. But uh, basically, people ask, like, do you recommend this uh, course, Inbound Closer? And um, it kind of brings me to kind of the main point I wanted to talk about in this video, which is that, you know, whether we're talking about Inbound Closer, we're talking about Dan Locke's like high ticket closing course. Um, both of these are programs that basically it's like if you basically they they teach you the skill of closing sales okay and i'm sure i've never taken inbound closer i've never taken dan Locke's uh course either but i'm sure they're they're awesome i've heard good things about them as far as learning sales but the only issue i have with the inbound closer specifically and even dan Locke's to an extent is that if they if they sell themselves as a course that's like a full business model. Um, for instance, you don't have a job, you don't have a business, or you wanna quit your job, take this class instead, and you can, and it'll give you income to quit your job. Um, and there's a lot of courses out there like this that'll say that, like quit your job. But what you need to do is you need to make sure that we, that this course that you're about to take is an actual full business model. For instance, Inbound Closer is a sale, it's specifically a sales training. It's not necessarily a full business model, even though they kind of say it's a business model and it could replace your job. If you take it, you'll see mostly what they're teaching you is sales, which is a good skill to have. It's a good skill to add to your business if you already have a business. But if you don't have a business yet, it's not necessarily a full business model in itself. And you see a lot of the reviews online of people who quit programs like this, um, you know, or even, even Dan Locks, if they think they're joining uh, something that's gonna be a full business model and teach them to set up a whole business, then a lot of times they're disappointed because all it really teaches is sales. And what you actually need then is something to sell, um, which you don't have if, if all you do is take a sales training, you don't have anything to sell. Um, and even though they say, hey, we'll provide you with clients and stuff like that, that uh, doesn't always work out that well for people. So what I encourage people to do, specific, and that's what I like about, about this program, about my specific program, is um, that we teach you a full, complete business model where you own the business. And in fact, you'll be the one hiring uh, hiring people like that take that take the course here the inbound closer course or the take Dan Locks course or whatever, you'll be the one hiring closers, okay? You won't be a closer, you'll be hiring closers. And that's why I kind of opened this with this idea of um, like level up, partner up to level up, and then partner up with other people that are strong where you are weak. So let's say you don't really know how to do sales I would encourage you, instead of taking a sales course, I would encourage you to partner up with someone who's really good with sales. And if you're a good, uh, say you're you're good at sales, but you're not so much good at the technical side, you're not good at setting up the websites and ranking them and getting traffic and all that stuff, but you're good at sales, I'd encourage you to partner up with someone else who is good at all the setup stuff and maybe they're not good at sales and instead of going out there and learning trying to you know take another course or something like that like in my clothes i encourage you follow the business model that i teach 100 set up your business and then partner up with other people who are strong where you are weak you're going to do a lot better if you focus on your strengths instead of trying to you know like everybody has weaknesses we want to improve right but instead of focusing really on those weaknesses you're going to do much better to hire someone to help you with those weaknesses i'm not saying don't be aware of your weaknesses and don't work on them but you're going to do a lot better if you focus on what you're really good at naturally good at your natural strengths and hire someone or partner with someone who has strengths where you are weak 
And I've done this multiple times in my own business. And in fact, I've made the most money when I actually partnered up with other people. And in fact, my own students a lot of times become partners for me to help me grow my business in ways that I never could do it just with myself or with my own team. And so, and and I and I don't have any problem in the group. In fact, I'm gonna show share my screen on my screen here. People that have partnered up here um, in the group, you'll see it here. Um, let me just zoom in so you can read that. You know, we've got people always asking questions like this, like, hey, anyone in the group good at and enjoy sales and wanna partner up? I've got a bunch of sites ranked on page one, producing leads. I wanna work with someone uh, work with someone who's accountable and has previously sold lead gen properties before. So here's somebody who's got sites. They're great at execution. They're great at the steps. They're great at the technical stuff. They're great at search engines. They've got traffic. They've got, they've got websites set up and they just want someone who's willing to get on the phone and sell the leads, set up partnerships. This is the type of thing that, that is, um, this is the type of thing that you really want, um, that you really want to do. Let me show you another one. Um, on top of my new client's wish list is a new website. So here's one who's better at sales. I've got a new client. They have a new website. Um, they want a new website. Is there anyone game to partner with me? Um, so this is someone who has a client, probably someone who's better at sales, but not so much good at the SEO side and the website setup side. And they want to partner with someone who is better at the sales side. Um, let me show you another one here. Show you another one. Um, my mom passed away. I currently have five, five sites that are built. I would love to work with someone rather than alone. I'm curious if anyone would like to partner up to start together to split the costs and getting services. Um, so, and here's another one. So this is, this is like great examples of just students that have partnered up in the group. Um, I'm loving this program. I'd like to transition into what I do best, prospecting and sales. I'm looking to partner with someone who has a proven track record of building and ranking sites, but who does not enjoy managing the prospecting and sales relationships. See, we, so it can go both ways in this group. We've got all types of people with different strengths in this group. And the more you partner up, the more you're going to succeed. I'm looking for someone who loves the tech side and isn't good with the sales side. Who might want to partner up. Could be a great opportunity. Please PM me. So feel free to do this. I just saw Alan in the group posted to partner up with him with his real estate stuff jump on that um looking to partner up to get things off the ground anyone interested so you get the idea there's lots of people that are like this and so you know rather than going out there and and trying to add another skill um trying to add like become a salesperson when you're really not something like that i would encourage you guys you're going to move much faster than partnering up you're going to split some of your profits okay and you might say well i don't want to give up any of my profits I'm telling you, on a lot of my partnerships, I've split them 50-50, or sometimes there's three guys involved, we split it three ways, but we still made much more money splitting that up three ways than we ever would have each one of us alone. So I'd encourage you folks, partner up with other people. Don't be afraid to give away part of your profits in order to build something that's much, much bigger than you could ever do on your own and know yourself know where your strengths lie if you're really good at the technical side maybe you do need to work on your sales stuff but and i'm not saying don't work on that but i'm saying man get out there and partner up with someone who's into sales who's really good at talking to people who's good at closing deals partner up and you're both going to be happier and you're both going to be more successful and you're both going to make more money doing that so partner up to level up you're going to be a lot happier